Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kyle, and I have a project pitch for you. Um, it's called Karnak. It's a thing I came up with um, a few months back uh, while I was working on a client project. Um, probably wondering who I am. I'm some random dude. I used to be in Keith Lee's capstone course um, and actually graduated in 2012 from UNT um, in the BAIT program with a network security concentration. Um, I currently work for a global agency called FFW. Um, we're about 100, 420 employees, um, doing mostly Drupal work previously. I was a full stack dev for about seven years, um, but now I'm a solutions architect, which is basically I list my clients, um, they tell me what they need, and then I do all the research and uh, kind of like plugging things together and writing estimates and contracts and, uh, you know, proof of concepts and like things like that um, for clients. So, so yeah, it's really fun. Um, I've been involved in the startup community for, for a really long time. I had a startup of my own for a while. Um, actually, that going to UNT and doing some things there with my best friend, Brett, um, kind of got me involved in the startup community, um, which also uh, caused me to start a local nonprofit here in Denton called Techno. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to reach out. Um, Happy to talk. Uh, as you can see, there's a picture of me with my 11-month-old uh, baby. Her name is Amelia, and you can see that I work from home. It's pretty awesome working remotely. So that's me. Um, this project, it's really a um, a way to analyze content uh, for trend for for like trending content, right? Um, the reason I came up with this was actually an idea from a client, a financial client, who uh, basically um, described this this thing as like a, a magic machine. Uh, she was like, I want to take multiple inputs, whether it is uh, social media networks, um, RSS feeds, news sources, whatever, and I want to feed all that content into a box, and then I want it to run some algorithms and determine what things are trending right now that her marketing team can write about. And so while there are some tools who do this, um, to some extent, um, a few of them use Reddit, but I thought Reddit was actually like a really good kind of proof of concept for, for doing these things because the great thing about Reddit is that um, a lot of their public APIs are free and open. Uh, so you can just access a lot of these things uh, without having to, you know, use some kind of authentication. Um, you just ping a post ID and you get a lot of data back and you can then capture that data, store it somewhere, and then process it later for something else. Um, there's a really neat hack you can use for subreddits where you can actually um, combine multiple subreddits into a single URL string and it will give you a combined RSS feed of all the posts um, that are coming through that uh, that combination of subreddits. So, for example, if you worked in uh, finance and you wanted to analyze um, trending content across multiple subreddits, say you had like a financial subreddit or you had a cryptocurrency subreddit or whatever, um, and you want to put all those together, it's really easy to do that. Um, another piece of this is, you know, analyzing content for what we would call like velocity um, or impact. And so it's really like aggregating the engagement. So what's the karma um, for these posts or scores for these for these posts? How many upvotes are they getting? How many people are, are commenting on it? Um, if you wanted to get really nerdy, you could do the uh, like a time series of how fast people are commenting on it. So even though a piece of content or a post might have a thousand comments, if that's been over the course of like a year, that doesn't really show you um, how trending it is. Um, but if you have a lot of comments in a short period of time, then that kind of shows you that um, there is a lot of movement behind uh, this piece of content. Um, another thing is you can take extract metadata from a post and then you can pass it through a series of APIs. Um, Google has actually a really great library of natural language processing APIs um, that are really straightforward. Literally, you just grab a blob of text, send it to the, to the API, it'll process it, send it back, and you can store the results. Um, some things it'll do 
or uh, entity analysis, content categorization, um, sentiment analysis, so like whether something was good or bad, um, things like that. Um, there's some other APIs we can use, such as Google Trends and some node libraries for doing some keyword extraction um, that would also be really helpful. So uh, this was an, an actual photo of a whiteboard drawing that I did um, of, of the project. So you can see in the top left, uh, we start with selecting multiple subreddits. So we want to combine together into a single RSS feed that then uh, goes into, um, it'll, it'll by default grab the most recent 25 posts. And so then we just churn through each one of those posts um, by passing it into the Reddit API we get the metadata for the post, so titles, the comments, the scores, description text. Um, if you wanted to get more data like the users, so maybe you see what users post uh, like the most trending content. So if it turns out that this one user has a lot of these, a lot of other posts linked to them, um, maybe we should start looking at the user and you can do like influencer scoring, which is kind of a thing. Um, you want to see like who is influencing popular content because um, it's more of like an authority rank at that point. Um, then you pass it in, each one into the you know NLP um, APIs to do all the analysis. You take the export of that, store it somewhere. Um, then you can take like a keyword extraction or phrase extraction, and you can pass that into Google Trends, and then Google Trends will give you back a chart of... Um, how those keywords are doing over a period of time. Um, once you get all those results back from your processing it, you can then put it into an interface where, um, you know, it just kind of gives you a summary of what the training content is at the time. And you kind of, there will be some kind of scoring system that we'll need to figure out. Basically what makes a piece of content trending. Honestly, it's like, uh, if it's really, f if, if it's really far, positive or negative because just because it's negative doesn't mean it's not popular. Um, but so we can use a sentiment analysis, we can use the total score of the comments, total score of the upvotes, um, time it has been uh, alive. So when was it created? Was it a new piece of content? Was it an old piece of content? Um, you know, and then also look at just like a summary of like keywords and see what's hot. Um, and so this was just something I mocked up um, in like a UI tool when I was just, you know, playing around with it. Um, you know, this was just a couple of things that, you know, just a example interface. I imagine this would be in something like an Electron app um, where a lot of this can actually run locally. You don't really have to have a web app online. It would be cool if you had a single source that you were storing the results of, of the API. So for example, if multiple people were using a desktop app analyzing Reddit posts, and one of those Reddit posts um, shows up across multiple subreddits, then we don't have to run the API twice. We can just run it the one time and run it back. Now, the problem with that is that, um, of course, um, we, uh, the scoring can be weird at that point. So one thing that would need to be checked all the time or be updated would be like the comments and things like that because those will obviously be changing. Um, but the things that don't need to change um, is the uh, natural language processing stuff because that's all static because that's, that's just being ran on the content of the post, um, not necessarily, uh, you know, anything else. So, you know, that's one idea. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the, the pitch, project pitch. Um, you might be wondering where the heck Karnak came from, where the name Karnak came from. Um, if you've ever watched any, you know, old TV shows, um, Karnak was actually a recurring Johnny Carson character um, who could uh, tell you unknown answers to unseen questions coming from a hermetically sealed envelope. So, uh, you know, we're trying to figure out things that no one's telling us answers to. So that's where we got the name from. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for listening to my pitch. Hopefully Keith showed this, showed this to you. Uh, you can check out the empty GitHub repo. It just has some of the screenshots that I just showed you in this, in this thing. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to work on it.